If you've been to a public, sporting or community event here in the North East, you'll no doubt have seen an army of St John's Ambulance volunteers and staff providing first aid cover to members of the public. The charity has trained more than 40,000 people in first aid across the North East through community training alone, and this new hub will allow employed staff, volunteers and cadets to continue the decades of support. I'm just really proud and yeah, it was, it was myself that instigated the project um, with help from other colleagues and I'm just really proud. It's, you know, it's been a big team effort to get to where we are now. It's, it's not a, a one person project, it's been a lot of engagement with the volunteers, with the staff who use us of the facility. So it, it just shows that the, the teamwork and the ethos of where we are now and how we want to improve going forward that we can achieve something like this now. Yeah. I think it's vital that we we encourage the encourage young people to get involved. Um, teaching young people life saving skills is just invaluable and we've got a scheme with, with community projects and with the schools project across the region to, to deliver free first aid training in schools. So we do have the ethos that every school should have first aid training and that rolls out and helps with the recruitment for, for cadets, badges. The charity has a proud history in Gateshead and opened its first cadet unit in the country in the town in 1922. Rebecca Owens started off in the cadets five years ago. She's now a regional cadet of the year and she can't wait to get started in the new hub. Absolutely amazing building. I can't wait to actually get moved in. So this is where I'll be based with my cadets. It's like our little family will be here. But because we're able to have the ambulances as well, we'll be able to see these roles more in depth, encourage a lot more people to join St John as an adult in the future. The cadets, it's such an amazing programme, so it's not all about blood and ambulances. We've got a bit of a variation there, but it can lead on to amazing things. So with like being cadet of the year and also opportunities for international ca camps. So I went out to Australia two years ago. We've got another cadet going out to Hong Kong next December and these events are happening all over the time. The charity has a mission to train a brand new generation of first aiders to save lives. And with the state of the art hub, including a mobile treatment centre and support vehicles, they can now realise that dream. Zoe Muldoon, Maid in Tynedwea, Gateshead.